Um, Helen from Fitzgerald, you're our next caller. Go ahead. Okay. Um, I was calling uh, to see about the rights. It was a young man. Um, he had a, I guess his car was, you don't know whether or not, his car was in the yard um, at a shop when he got it repaired. Uh -huh. And the, he had a GPS tracking system put on his car okay. without his knowledge. And when he took the GPS off, they arrested the young man saying that uh, they arrested him for destroying government property okay. and he's in jail and I want to know what was his right and he didn't know what the device was and it oh. could have been anything and he took it off and he destroyed it and they arrested him without his knowledge. Okay, I've seen those systems. Go ahead, Holly. Destroying government property um, can be a felony. Uh, oftentimes with, with other crimes, there's levels like $500. If it's over $500, it's a misdemeanor, uh, or it's a, a felony. If it's under $500, it's a misdemeanor. With government property, it can be any $1, and it's still going to be a potentially uh, felony charge there. Now, whether or not they had authority to put the tracking system on the car in the first place, that's a totally different different thing with a whole set of rules and standards and things of that nature. Um, but if they did have all of their ducks in a row and had the ability to do that legally, then destroying the property, you know, could be a charge. Although I think there there could be some defenses there, particularly if he did not know that it was government property. That would be a complete defense, um, no knowledge um, that it was government property. So I would certainly consult someone for him um, about that. It sounds like he has some potentially strong defenses there. Holly, I remember doing that story a few years ago when I was a reporter. I think, is that the device where if the person doesn't make the payment that they are tracking the vehicle and then they can have it picked up? I, I'm wondering if that's what it, what's, if that's what it was. It's and hard to say. Yeah. Was by law, I thought they have to tell them that the system's on there. I can't remember. It's been a while. They have to do a number of things. There's a whole okay. number of hoops that they have to jump through in order to be able to do that and notice and all that sort of stuff as part of that. Okay. Um, there's various different devices these days. They're always coming up with new things. Right. So the legislature will try to cover everything, but there's always new things that they're coming up okay. with. But there are a very strict set of rules that they have to follow in order to. Gotcha. Okay. If you'd like to reach Holly Hogue, here's how. It's the law office of Holly DeRosa Hogue, and she's right here in Macon. You can reach her at 478-254-5690, or visit Holly's website at hollyhogue.com. And Mr. B.J. Servant and Michael Horner are with Reynolds, Horner and Servant. They're also here in Macon. You can reach them at 478-405-0300 or toll-free 1-800-537-3238, or visit their website at reynoldsinjurylaw.com.